What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I have for you another concept critique slash review. This one is from Concept Central. It's another Windows 12 concept, but this time from this person. Uh, this was made recently on June 26, 2022. So uh, I was sent to this a while ago. I just never looked at it until now. But I think now's the time to look at another concept or two. Maybe this week will just be concepts, who knows. But without further ado, let's jump into the concept. All right, the logo already bothers me because it's too round. The music is calm. All right, start menu, kind of like the Windows 10 start menu, but with widgets that actually do stuff and they stick onto the desktop. I like how it's looking so far. The music, eh, hit or miss. File transfer in progress. Ooh, that looks good. That looks like Mac OS right there, but with some Fluent and Mica. I'm actually gonna lower the uh, desktop audio a little bit. It's a little loud. Notifications. Hmm. Are we already done? We're already done, okay. So this is apparently an update to his old Windows 12 concept, which I don't believe I covered. I do not remember it, to be honest. Maybe I have terrible memory. Let's go back. So as you know, what I typically do is I watch it all the way through once, and then I go back. So we're going to mute the sound this time, and we're going to go back and just kind of look through it. So this is what initially bothered me initially. Uh, is this logo right here. This logo triggers me a little bit uh, because it's too round. It's just too round. Um, I feel like it's being too extra for Windows. I know it's supposed to be an iteration, right? It's supposed to be what, you know, the next version. So let's make it rounder. Let's make it more friendly, right? But it's too round for me. So I won't go any further with that. But let's keep going. All right, that already. Let's go back right here the bottom right corner of the area of the taskbar area it's pretty much the same things as i have here in my bottom right corner okay we got the actual wit icons and stuff and then you got a separated section on the left here is another thing here that i see was brought into this concept that i kind of don't agree with just because i have a super ultra wide monitor and that is when you, sep when you make the design decision to separate the taskbar into three different sections, the bottom right, the middle area, which has all your icons, and then the bottom left, where the start menu is and the core items are, I'm noticing that it's by default to the left. And I love having a centered taskbar or a centered start menu. Um, I love having that because as monitors get wider and people are getting bigger screens, higher density screens, it's kind of more annoying to have to turn your eyes to the bottom left corner to look. I like it in the middle. It's preference. That's all for me. Um, so I'm wondering, with this concept, how would it be if somehow you could bring start back to the middle? Let's say if this was a real thing, this is directly to Concept Central himself, how would it be... Uh, if you were to design this with the ability to switch your start and search and what is that, your uh, task view to the middle again, how would it be? How would you design around that? Because as far as I can tell, this design is based off of only having it on the bottom left. I don't know if you've thought that far, but let's keep going with it. Keep it on going in. All right, so I'm just gonna pause it right here. In fact, I can go back just a frame barely. There we go, okay. So right here, I'm noticing a few things, right? Noticing search sitting above because in the start menu, we do have search. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've kind of put this thing on the, yeah, so you kind of see search on this corner here. I've kind of pushed the view to the other side of my screen. Um, you see search. So I like that. Uh-oh, I went too far. There we go. All right, so search is up top. That's fine with me. Uh, the user account, that's fine with me. Your selected icons, hopefully. That's fine with me too. Is this icon the same? Nope, you, so you change the power icon to look a little different. Um, 
in my opinion, I don't think Windows uh, a Windows 12, a potential Windows 12, would change too much um, heavily. So I would like to see pretty much the icons stay pretty consistent to what it already is because they just redesigned things. I would like to just see like the same power button, the same settings button, because um, I'm noticing one difference with the settings here. It looks as if, and I'll zoom in for everybody, hopefully, um, remind myself too, that the two areas up above the settings gear are two different areas versus the settings gear has been rotated slightly. So on the main start menu on Windows 11, the top little notch is facing straight up. This one has been rotated slightly. I'm not sure if that was a design decision or you just got that from an icon pack, but they're not, I, I not Microsoft would not change too much. So obviously this isn't a hundred percent practical, but I'm just nit grit nitty, uh, nitpicking here. Let's keep going. All right. So, this, I like this nice zoom in right here, even though it's on an angle. Um, I like the fact that this is here. I love this here, and I love what's going to come next in the next scene for this video, uh, that these are actually interactable. These widgets are actually interact interactable, and they're front and center right there, and he lets there be an ability to just stick them onto your start menu or not start menu onto your desktop like stickers that are actually coming apparently to windows 11 i have stickers already on uh this computer it's just i don't put them up because they're just literally stickers they don't do anything but cosmetic i love the idea of what's coming here these lifting off your widgets and pissed uh, pissing and then attaching them to your desktop i love this idea i don't care what size screen you have if there's one thing from concept central's concept here Microsoft, you need to bring this to fruition. You need to bring this back. Uh, I'm not saying live tiles necessarily, but just call them widgets if you need to. Bring them back and let you just put on the start or the desktop. That's This is amazing. Icons, yada, yada. Uh, redesigned File Explorer with tabs. We already knew that, obviously, but there's more to it. This is how the tabs look. The file transfer area, wait, go back. So we got file transfer. It's a little too bubbly in my opinion. It's a little too eyesore. -y. And then the other thing that bothers me here is that this icon on the left uh, is not aligned with the three. It's like on its own little area. So either push this back over or push this over to line up exactly. Because everything is lined up on this part right here. And then you got the icon kind of left alone in the corner there. Keep it on going. All right, so right here, right here is what i love this is what i love and this is what microsoft i don't know why they haven't done this yet i love this idea so much i don't care if you have to steal from apple microsoft steal from apple samsung did it and look where they are now i have a samsung phone and i have an iphone right here we have the new i don't even know what you want to call this um utility pane is what i'm going to call it utility window whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it utility window. Um, and I love the idea of just actually seeing the charge status of various devices because Bluetooth sends that signal over to the computer to know what how much charge status there is. This mouse that I'm using is kind of, is like Wi-Fi direct in a bit, in a way. It's 2.4G wireless, but like the computer knows what the battery life is for this mouse. So there's no reason for us to have to see a tiny little percentage icon that's currently what we have for what the percentage of, say, these headphones are or what the percentage of this mouse is. We should just have a Bluetooth manager widget and let us just see it. Just show us in clear view, this is what it is. Now, what I don't know is whether or not this is volume for them right here. So the keyboard, no, this is not volume. This is actually the battery status, so 92%, 63% and charging. I love this. Make it more visual, Panos. I hope, I wish you were watching this. Um, hopefully you are. This is what I love. Dark mode, uh, good. That's fine. I'm sure it's customizable, which it is. Yep, you can get a customization. Volume toggles and everything like that. That's great. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, just make it more easy for people because I know the people who are using Windows, a lot of them are getting older. The eyes aren't getting the best. Make it easier. It doesn't have to be overly square, overly uh, big in your face, but it looks good. Really good. All right, dark mode toggle. Everything changes to dark mode. I don't know about the animation and all. Everything looks good. All right, and then this looks like a <laughs> this looks like a that desktop back there, the little monitor. This <laughs> right here. Hold on, is it gonna show it? 
Uh, zoom out. No. Okay, this is hilarious. It keeps going by so fast. Clearly, we already know what this monitor is. It's a beautiful monitor. This is that Apple uh, Mac Studio, not Mac Studio, uh, Studio Display. Looks great, costs too much, but it's a good looking computer for a minimalist setup. Notifications in their own area, that swap between widgets. Now, fun fact, um, I've spoken to Concept Central before, and I've spoken to some other people in the Windows community before, and I think one of them actually has like a skin or something like that, that they made their taskbar do something actually similar to this, what you're seeing right there. This is apparently not really a concept. I've like I've seen people actually have screenshots of them actually having a taskbar that kind of works like this, which is crazy. Um, okay, so we have the different layouts for it right there. Search is pretty much normal. And let's see what else is there. And that's it. Okay. So let's let's pull out. There we go. I'm gonna let this marketing material uh, show up for a little bit, so that way you guys can definitely can subscribe to this man. Subscribe. Uh, go to Twitter for this person, and definitely go to the Discord for it too, and everything. This is amazing. This is amazing work. This is work top notch work. There's some things that I don't care for, as usual. That's just what I am. I some things I won't care for, like that logo. Um, like how they arranged where the start button is gonna be like it's some things that they, hopefully there's a way to shift it. it doesn't look like that was thought through uh it's about middle centering the start menu still um but yeah it's really good it's really good i i actually like this let's see if i can find or you guys can send me a concept that for somehow i agree with everything that'll be That'll be a momentous occasion if somehow someone can make a concept that actually satisfies me 100%. That'll be amazing. Because so far I can find a nitpick at anything. And it's not even crazy nitpicks, it's just certain things. Let's see if someone somehow can know my brain well enough that they can make a concept that I'll agree with everything in it. We'll find out who knows when. But I hope you guys like this video. I got more concepts uh, to take a look at um, coming soon, either today Maybe I'll do two today and you won't see them till like this week and next week or who knows once a week. But yeah, hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. You know the drill. Follow on Discord, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Catch you guys in the next one.